right, here comes World War Tube C Zone 5. This is the warden playing my alternate personality. I'm, uh, because I'm using LT's personality, we're going with his Guardians of the Galaxy mixtape. So, this turn is going to be UK turn number 8, but we're going to go back to US turn number 8 because there was a fatal mistake made by the United States. See, you'll see here in the combat move that the US brought four fully loaded transports with nothing to escort them. There were three fighters up in uh, the Caroline Islands and there were two destroyers up in Hawaii but nothing came with them and there is in fact an air base here in Queensland so I'm gonna be a bit of a jerk because the, the J Japan's just doing so terribly and I'm going to scramble one tactical bomber into that sea zone and lo and behold goodbye US fleet I mean the reason why I'm having alternate personality is to make sure that the US stays honest right so they don't spend all their IPCs over there taking out Corporal Clegg in Europe so I think I have to do it sorry buddy which also means that those four bombers have no grounders to support them and they have to perform one round of combat. And so they're going to be fighting against two fighters, two tactical bombers, and a tank. So, sorry to do this to you, No Limit, but uh, I'm going to. <laughs> Alright, so let's get some dice. Sorry I didn't get them out ahead of time because I was just so excited to uh, to do this. Uh, so the we're going to re-roll his attack. And he's got four attackers, so four dice at four. And let's see how many hits he gets. I mean, lo he gets four hits. I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, we're going to end up taking a tank, the two tactical bombers, and a fighter. But we get two shots at four and three shots at three back at these bombers all right let's see I'm hoping we can take out all four. Oh, we can't oh we can yes got them all got all four one of my uh, fighters missed but the rest of them all hit so not only do we say goodbye to the U.S. fleet here, we also say goodbye to these four bombers. And there goes another 48 IPCs. I am loving it as Japan. Uh, so very sorry, uh, no limit. Uh, but, you know, you got three aircraft and, uh, and a tank taken out of there as well. Uh, so, of course, this tactical bomber will go ahead and land back in Queensland. Uh, so, at the end of that battle, uh, quite the carnage, uh, but Japan comes out on top. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here because uh, the U.S. non-combat moved two destroyers from C-Zone 26 into C-Zone 54. And they also landed all their bombers and those three fighters from the Carolines in New Guinea. Uh, so I'm going to talk to No Limit and see what he wants to do for his, no, his non-combat, because obviously that would be able to change uh, if we were doing this in person. So I'll pause it here and let you know what he says. Just a moment. All right, we're back. And uh, I heard from No Limit and about what he would like to do. And uh, so instead of moving these two destroyers from C-Zone 26, he's only going to move one, one, two, three, down to C-Zone 54. And these three fighters, instead of moving them to New Guinea, they will move one, two, three, four, five, back to Hawaii. 
And uh, I know that uh, I know that maybe it's a little bit controversial the fact that uh, I I did hear ahead of time before the U.S. took their turn that they were going to Queensland. But I didn't know what they were taking to Queensland, and especially what they were taking to Sea uh, Zone 54 in particular. So here's what I saw earlier today about what No Limit had a plan for. And of course, my alternate personality said, I'm not listening, uh, to, just to make sure that uh, I'm trying to play both sides and uh so i try not to listen to what you had for strategy but anyways so that's what uh the u.s ends with there and so uh also of note um on the ipc tracker japan stays at uh 23 ipcs and uh the fec stays at 34 uh not 21 and 36 as it was in the u.s video all right, uh, let me just finish setting up real quick for the uh, UK turn, and I'll put my alternate uh, personality on and be right back. All right, we're going to move on to my alternate ego and UK turn number eight. We'll start off with purchases. The UK has 60 IPCs. For that 60 IPCs, they're going to buy five artillery, five infantry, one minor industrial complex, a tank, an infantry, and a mechanized infantry. All IPCs spent. For combat movements, we have a total of four combat movements. And that should give us a good view. The first is we're going to take this strategic bomber from England and we're going to move one, two, three, and we're going to bomb the factory in France because those are tactical bombers. They cannot scramble. Come on, buddy. So we don't have to worry about the facility anti-aircraft guns. Uh, secondly, we are going to go after Western Germany again. So we have three transports that are in C zone 112. They're just going to dip over to 110 and back to 112 and take these three infantry and three artillery with them. All right. Uh, next, we're going to take uh, the tactical bomber from England and he's going to go one, two, three, and he's in an airbase, so he's got two moons remaining. Same thing with the fighter, one, two, three, with two movements remaining. And then we're gonna take the two fighters off of the carriers. Get a couple of flight stands here. So they're gonna come off that carrier and they're just moving one space and so they'll have three movements remaining. All right. Uh, that's it for West Germany. For Southern France, we are going to take the two transports that are off of Egypt. They're gonna pick up these two tanks and two infantry, and they're gonna come up and walk into Southern France. One, two, three. And that one is taken. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there for a minute so I don't forget the IPCs. Uh, also, we are going to take one artillery from southern Italy and walk into an empty northern Italy. All right, so that is only one battle to roll out and a strategic bombing run to roll out. So let's take it over to the battle board. So uh, in, we'll do Western Germany first. So in Western Germany, we got two infantry. Uh, whoops, that's supposed to be three infantry and three artillery. My bad on that one. I had to change it last minute. Good grief. All right. So we've got three infantry and three artillery, 
plus three fighters and a tactical bomber going up against uh, three German infantry and an Italian artillery. So let's get these uh, rolling. I don't know what this song is. Apparently it's Songs of World War II and it's got a big picture of Winston Churchill. Anyways, uh, so start off with six at two, three at three, and one at four for the UK. All right, uh, not as good. So we've got one, two, three hits. Two of my threes missed and five of my twos missed. All right, so that'll take the three German infantry, uh, but they get to shoot back uh, with their four at two. And ooh, they blanked, uh, no hits. So that's great for the uh, the allies. I go ahead and roll everything again for the Brits. And, huh, uh, they got one hit out of all that, uh, which is all they needed, but that's some terrible rolling. Uh, maybe it makes up for what happened uh, down in Australia. All right, so we got uh, one die at two remaining for the Italian uh, infant or artillery. And he blanks too. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess Corporal Clegg, you need to train the, your guys in West Germany the same, to the same level as the guys in Normandy, because uh, they suck. Uh, all right, so those are all dead uh, with no losses to the UK. All right, now we're gonna do our strategic bombing run on Paris, so we got one die at uh, at one for the anti-aircraft gun, and it's a two. All right, so let's see how much damage we're gonna get with our strategic bomber. What the heck did I do with it? Oh, it bounced right out onto the floor. Try that again. Good night, I dropped it again. <laughs> and it's a one. Awesome, so we got three damage. Three damage, a whopping three damage on that uh, factory in France. All right, so let's go back to the board and see what we can't straighten out. So here's the three damage to that German factory in uh, in France. And again, I use yellows as one and oranges as orange uh, chips as five for damage. Uh, so we'll get our three damage on there. We're going to take our strategic bomber. He's going to go one, two, three, back to the UK. Okay, so he's done. We'll take that target off there, maybe without knocking everything over. All right. Uh, next, uh, down here in southern France, we have now taken that. Uh, so that now it belongs to the UK. And... Uh, I'm, I ran out of UK factories, so I'm, I'm gonna have to use an Anzac factory to denote that one. Uh, same thing in Northern Italy. So we are going to go up by four for that one. Oh, those are in the south. Go up by four for that one and replace the factory with a minor factory for the for the UK. Uh, and then finally, up here in West Germany, we'll remove all these axis pieces, put down our piece of pie, which gives us five IPCs, and swap out the German miner factory for a UK one. I think you can see that. Yeah, sort of. All right, so, uh, so now we are up, let's see, we're up a total of eight IPCs for southern France and western Germany and another four IPCs for northern Italy so that's we're up 12 down eight for Germany and down four for Italy so we're gonna go from 39 to 51 for the UK Germany is gonna go down eight so from 33 to 25 and Italy even though they're not collecting is gonna go down from seven to three 
All right, I like it. Let's continue with our non-combat moves. Uh, first here in the med, we're gonna take this submarine from 98 and go one, two, into C zone 97 and put him on convoy duty. So he can convoy Yugoslavia and Albania. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'm not really sure how that works. I guess it would, he would take off Yugoslavia first since Albania technically doesn't collect anything. Uh, next, we're going to take this uh, loaded aircraft carrier up to 93, along with the cruiser and the destroyer, uh, into 93. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, here, we have this transport here in 92, and he's going to go 1, 2, 3 into C-Zone 110. And let me bring it up here now so you can see this a little bit closer. So this is the task force marker for C-Zone 110, so there's two transports there now. Um, and remember, one of these up here in 112 I did not use. Uh, so coming with that transport is going to be the infantry and the tank from Gibraltar and they're gonna land to back up these units here in Normandy. Uh, additionally, this transport here in 110 that I haven't used yet and the other transport from 112 is gonna come down to 110 and they're gonna take these two artillery and two infantry that are still remaining in, in England and we're gonna move those across the channel as well into Normandy. So we've just moved in three infantry, two artillery, and a tank. Uh, our planes in West Germany. So we've only got two movements left for for the tactical bomber and the fighter, and then two fighters with three movements left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let. I just want to make sure this works. Uh, we have an airbase. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to take one fighter that has three movements left, I guess, and he'll go one, two, and he's going to land in Normandy. We're going to take a fighter with two movements left and have him go one back to the carrier and then of course we'll take the tactical bomber and have him go back one to the carrier as well and then this fighter with three he's gonna go oops, he's gonna go one two three back to jolly old England alright so that takes care of all those Oops. All right, so I think that finishes my non-combat moves. Just double checking to make sure it looks like it. So now I'm gonna grab my units to place on the map. We'll start with Southern France. We have a minor industrial complex down there now. So we're gonna place uh, an infantry a mechanized infantry and a tank to go along with that uh, artillery that's still there. Uh, also we have a minor industrial complex that we purchased that is going to go up here in Norway. And finally we have five infantry and five artillery that are going to be placed here in England. That was a little close. All right. Time to collect some money. The UK is at 51 on the IPC tracker. Plus we have our national objective of five for all of our original territories. So we're gonna get a total of, uh, let's see, 25, 50, uh, 55, 56. 
So that's 51 plus 5, 56. All right, uh, quick recap. So we have, we'll start down here in the med. We have a sub on convoy duty in C Zone 97. We have uh, an aircraft carrier with a fighter, a tactical bomber. Um, hmm. Move from here, one, two, three. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll keep it on there. Uh, so from in uh, C, uh, C Zone 93, sorry, I just had second thoughts, but I, I'm going to keep it the same. C Zone 93, we have uh, an aircraft carrier with a tactical bomber, a fighter, a cruiser, a destroyer, and two transports. In uh, southern France, we have two infantry and two tanks. Northern Italy, we have one artillery. Southern Italy, we have one infantry, one artillery, one mechanized infantry, and one tank. And in Greece, we still have one infantry. In Normandy, we have three infantry, a tank, and two artillery, and a fighter. In West Germany, we have three infantry and three artillery. In Norway, we have a newly placed uh, minor industrial complex. In England itself, we have five anti-aircraft, five artillery, six infantry, one fighter, one strategic bomber. And in C Zone one, yeah, 110, that's Task Force 2, we have three transports. And in C Zone 112, Task Force 4, we have three transports, a destroyer, an aircraft carrier, a fighter, and a tactical bomber. All right, that finishes up the UK's turn. Looking forward to uh, next letting Italy go. I don't think they have too much to do, but uh, we'll see what they can pull out on this hat trick. That's it for the Warden. Out. Oh.